Imagine being stranded in the Arctic where the air temperature drops to 40 below zero, freezing your exposed skin instantly. You are shivering uncontrollably, your teeth chattering violently, desperately seeking any form of shelter from the relentless biting wind and the extreme cold. Now, picture another individual, comfortably nestled inside a small, dome-shaped structure made entirely of snow and ice, feeling surprisingly warm and completely protected. This crazy contrast presents a powerful question, prompting us to wonder how a house constructed from frozen water could possibly provide such insane warmth and comfort. The answer lies in the fascinating principles of thermodynamics, creating a significant temperature difference that can reach up to 60 degrees warmer inside an igloo. This incredible warmth is generated solely by the user's body heat, a concept that seems almost impossible in such a freezing and unforgiving environment. The remarkable physics of snow as an exceptional insulator is truly the secret behind an igloo's ability to retain warmth so effectively. When we examine individual snowflakes under a powerful microscope, we discover they are not solid ice but rather intricate, delicate structures composed of 95% trapped air. These tiny pockets of still air are actually pathetic conductors of heat, which means they significantly slow down the process of heat transfer from a warmer area to a colder one. This unique characteristic is very similar to how a styrofoam cup keeps your hot coffee warm, or how a down jacket insulates your body from winter's chill. The countless air pockets within the compacted snow act as a highly efficient barrier, preventing your internally generated warmth from dissipating into the brutally cold external environment. Within the ingenious design of an igloo, your own human body serves as the primary heat source, essentially functioning like a small, continuous radiator that emits around 100 watts. This constant warmth is then strategically managed by the igloo's architecture, which uses a clever cold sink mechanism to maximize heat retention. A crucial design element is the entrance tunnel, which must always be constructed lower than the main sleeping platform inside the igloo, a simple but vital key for survival. This specific arrangement allows the denser, colder air to naturally settle and accumulate within the lower entrance tunnel, effectively creating a permanent cold air trap. Meanwhile, the warmer, lighter air generated by your body heat naturally rises and remains concentrated around the elevated sleeping area where you rest. Also, the inner walls of the igloo undergo a subtle yet crucial process of slight melting and subsequent refreezing due to the temperature difference. This continuous cycle of thawing and solidifying creates an incredibly strong, almost airtight seal across the entire inner surface of the snow structure. This robust, impermeable layer is absolutely vital because it completely stops any penetrating wind from entering the shelter, which would otherwise rapidly remove precious warmth through convection. This natural sealing process significantly enhances the igloo's insulating properties, making it an exceptionally effective barrier against the harsh Arctic winds and the freezing cold outside. Now that you understand the invisible thermodynamics keeping you warm, we must move to the actual physical construction. Building that perfect igloo requires finding wind-packed snow, which is dense enough to cut into solid structural blocks. You can easily test the snow quality by probing it with a stick or simply walking across the surface. This method helps determine if the snow firmly holds your weight, indicating sufficient compaction. Once suitable snow is located, the precise process of cutting these essential blocks into specific shapes begins. Builders often utilize a specialized snow saw or even a sturdy machete for efficient removal of the material. These individual blocks need to be specific, consistent sizes, typically around two feet long. They should also be one foot high and six inches thick, ensuring structural integrity throughout the construction. Interestingly, you actually build the entire igloo from the inside out, carefully leaning each block inward. This crucial technique ensures the dome closes properly and maintains its strong, self-supporting shape, which is vital. This unique construction method allows the builder to constantly adjust the angle of the blocks. This process creates that perfect self-supporting arch as the structure grows taller. The spiral technique is absolutely fundamental to an igloo's stability, representing a critical piece of engineering that prevents collapse. After laying the first foundational layer of blocks in a perfect circle, you then meticulously cut a gentle, continuous slope. This important cut is made into the top edge of these initial blocks, establishing the crucial spiral for subsequent layers. This crucial angled cut allows the subsequent layers to spiral upward seamlessly, much like the elegant shell of a snail. This unique design creates a continuous interlocking structure, providing immense stability and preventing any potential inward collapse. This ingenious method is critical physics, as the constant, uninterrupted contact points between each spiraling block are vital. These contact points prevent the entire dome from collapsing inward as you build higher. This crucial stability is maintained as you lean the blocks more acutely, which is essential for the structure. Each new block rests securely on the one below it, transferring weight evenly across the entire structure, which is vital. 
This process distributes the compressive forces throughout the entire snow dome, significantly enhancing its overall strength. Without this continuous spiral, the structure would simply crumble under its own weight, failing to achieve the necessary strength for a reliable shelter. Eventually, you reach the very top of the dome, where the final perfectly shaped king block is carefully inserted. This crucial action locks the entire structure into place with remarkable precision, completing the dome's construction. Once this capstone is secured, the next vital step involves chinking, which is a crucial process for insulation. This means meticulously filling any tiny gaps or cracks between the snow blocks with loose, powdery snow. This essential process stops cold drafts from entering the interior, significantly improving the thermal insulation of the shelter. This makes the shelter much warmer and more comfortable for its occupants, which is a key benefit in harsh conditions. Furthermore, constructing a small yet vital ventilation hole near the top of the igloo is absolutely crucial. This is for safety, despite allowing a tiny bit of precious heat to escape, which is a minor trade-off. This small opening is vital to prevent the dangerous buildup of carbon dioxide from breathing and cooking. This effectively averts the serious risk of suffocation within the enclosed space, ensuring occupant safety. The final result of this careful construction and understanding of snow's properties is a remarkably sturdy, incredibly warm shelter. This impressive structure stands resilient against the harshest winter conditions, providing vital protection for its occupants, which is essential. The unique thermal properties of compacted snow, combined with the ingenious architectural design create an incredibly effective environment. The inside temperature can be significantly higher than the freezing outside air within this remarkable structure. This impressive temperature difference is maintained by the insulating qualities of the snow itself, which are highly effective. The snow traps air within its crystalline structure, effectively slowing down heat transfer, which is a key thermodynamic principle. The dome shape also provides exceptional structural strength, distributing external pressures evenly across its surface. This crucial design makes it resistant to strong winds and heavy snow loads. With these thermal principles and construction techniques, you can turn the frozen landscape into a life-saving sanctuary.